Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Princes of Isari, episode 16! Um, <clears throat> let's start with some intros in the top left, played by Lily. We have the first of the Eldritch Brothers in this particular order, although I guess he was born first. Uh, it is Theo Eldritch. <clears throat> Up next, we've got Alex playing the only slightly younger Eldritch Brother, uh, but in his words, I think you'd say you were more handsome. <laughs> They're the Elders. It's Aaron and Elders. They're the Elders brothers. You've probably heard of them. In the top right, uh, we have our friend Bobby playing the warlock Koros with more. Wait for it. Vices than virtues. Vices than virtues. <laughs> Testing. You guys hear me? Yes. yes. Nice. All right. Uh, in the bottom left, Nicole is playing our paladin who is in search of gods, because uh, she doesn't like the Morning Lord that much anymore, and she doesn't like Mother Night that much anymore. <laughs> so, uh, she is Irina! She's between Ooh. gods right now. Yeah, exactly. there we go. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. setting herself. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, our returned friend Lincoln, playing not the Dirk Courage you know and love, the other Dirk Courage you know and love. It is Dragon Dirk. <laughs> uh, we are missing our friend in Brandon tonight. Uh, he plays the bumbling cleric Pharaoh. Uh, he may or may not pop in later. We'll see. And we are all missing him. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. All right, so. If Brandon watches this later, we're going to get brownie points. Because we all said we missed him. We all said we miss him. Mm -hmm. That's like suck ups. <laughs> He's my brother. He can still, like, you know, give me concussions. I have to suck up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, last time on Princes of Isari, y'all made it to the Forbidden City of Omu. Uh, you uh, saw some stuff, some ruins, some things, jungle overgrowing the city. Uh, <clears throat> and you made your way to a particular shrine that uh, stood out uh, to you on the <clears throat> edge of the city. Um, and when you got there, you fought two Kamadons. They're basically uh, like jaguar-looking things, or... Yeah, jaguars, panthers. With jaguars with snakes. What? With snakes right. sticking out of them. That's right. the important part. I was like, there was something else. Something I mixed up all my big <clears throat> You uh, said jaguar. Jaguar? Jaguars with snakes. Um, you defeated those and then made your way into the shrine. Which is on this page. So. <clears throat> so, steps descend into a 15-foot-high, moss-covered room. Oh, who'd we lose? Nicole. Nicole, all right. Back. Back. Okay. Oh, I hear her. Um... Steps descend into a 15-foot-high, moss-covered room. Four statues of Isari uh, Omuan warriors stand in alcoves to either side, overlooking a barred gladiatorial pit in the floor. Each statue looks like it was meant to hold a spear, but its weapon is missing. Wow. On the far side of the chamber, a stone pedestal stands conspicuously bare. A relief on the wall behind it shows a monstrous jaguar with six snakes protruding from its shoulders, fighting off a squat, frog-like humanoid armed with a spear. To the left of this relief is a narrow tunnel with stairs leading down. And for big picture, the thing that we're in right now, oh, we don't have a map. No. It's one of the temples. There were two temples. Thank you. Yeah. There's more than two, but there were two next to each other. <coughs> that guy. Cool. How big were those statues, you said? said, beware the frog beast. The ones that are around? The yeah. statues are roughly human-sized. Okay. Apparently all the frog people are evil. That's what we have learned. <laughs> oh, let's not generalize. <laughs> um, all right. I say we look around in here for anything useful. Yeah, um, I want to go see if I can figure out what was on that pedestal because it's all it's all like lit up right like it looks like something cool should be there right i don't know if it's lit up all right 
Fine. Take away my Spielberg. It is a four. Take it away. It is a four foot high stone cylinder. Uh. It doesn't seem to have anything on it. And I go up to it and I like wave my hand on top where something should be. Yeah, so there's something invisible. Close inspection reveals there is a small stone hatch in the top of it. Ooh. I, I don't want to. I don't know. I'm gonna open it. Yeah, I, I, I like somebody's with me and I don't want to be the one to. You're gonna come so over like, and try and pry it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like everyone to confirm where they're standing, please. I would like to. I'm like right next to it with Koros. Next town over. <laughs> Back in Red Lark. Aridin, Irina, and Dirk, you still by the door or are you by the pet? Uh, I'm probably investigating the statue. Yeah, you see, you want to look at the statue. So. Alright. Yeah, I'm probably chilling with. I'll be by the door. Yeah, Aridin by the door. <laughs> Aridin and Irina by the door. Alright. Uh, this thing. Um, okay, so. When you start to try to pry up uh, <clears throat> this little hatch, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, a cloud of gas releases through uh, apparently the holes in the wall relief in front of you. I need uh, constitution saving throws from uh, Theo and Koros. See, this is Indy's temple. It's just like it. <laughs> the good news is nothing bad can happen. Oh, yeah. What? Wow. I rolled a two, and you rolled a three. That the was pathetic. News, the bad news is that roll. I rolled a two. I have plus nine. Both of you take 14 poison damage. Well, that's mm -hmm. all right. At least none of us spent, like, a whole month losing one hit. Yeah, one. right. Exactly. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> Okay. Um, you said 14? Mm -hmm. One four. Yes. And when the hatch is lifted, did the hatch actually lift? The hatch or is it that did he not open. To lift it? You started to pry at it. Try Puff again. of gas. It's probably a lot of the gas. The gas is still there. You probably want to move. Yeah. I'm well, I'll go try. Um, yeah. I was Can I try again? Like, put <clears> my <throat> thing over my face? I'm just going to come over and be like, go, go away. Oh, I'll try. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll back off. All right, you guys back away. After a mo few moments, the gas recedes and disperses. Dissipates. Dirk's gonna try now. All right, stick something in there and try and pry it up. Yep. Constitution saving throw. I'm immune to poison. Just, <laughs> just don't roll a two. Are you yeah. immune to uh, poison or the poisoned condition? I'm immune to disease and poison. What the hell? All right. <laughs> smells nice. It's okay. I'm pretty Can sure. Can I get this thing open? It's you can't get this thing open. <coughs> Is it like it's not open it. meant to open? Like, mm -hmm. or because like you haven't made anybody do a strength check. I'm trying. To, Lily's trying to figure it out. Sorry, Lily's trying to figure it out. It doesn't appear that it opens like, uh, like on a hinge or anything like that. It's unclear what mechanism would cause this to open. May I inspect the statues? <clears throat> you may. Is one of them a statue of the Emperor Justinian on a horse? Because if it is, we should put it on the pedestal. Specifically, <clears throat> I'm inspecting the statues to see if that, like, if they were given, could I, could I give them a spear? And if I did, are there any kind of mechanisms that would be activated by that? All right. Why don't you give me uh, perception or investigation or whatever you feel is most appropriate? Perception. All right. It's not very good. It's 13. Okay, you're not entirely sure, but you do notice that the arms that hold the spears, um, the way that they're attached at the shoulder definitely seems like it moves or could maybe trigger something somehow. If, okay, so there's a, something happening here. Yes, there is some kind of mechanism. Okay, cool. I say we look around the shrine. Maybe there's spears that'll open the thing. Are there any in the I, gladiator pit? Uh, so if you're going to look down into the gladiator pit, there's this big, uh, you know, like metal bars blocking it, and it's pretty dark down there. Um, why don't you give me a perception check to see what you can see? You make out um, a few skeletons, you know, 
Uh, not the living kind, the dead kind. Right. Uh, and what appears to be, uh, at first it looks humanoid in shape, but you realize that it's either completely covered in armor or is made of uh, wood and metal. Hmm. Um, but it, it doesn't appear to be moving. It's, it's standing uh, sort of to one side of this gladiator pit. Its head is hung down, um, and it otherwise has a very neutral pose and position. Like a, like a dummy? Perhaps. It doesn't. Ass. It doesn't have the pose that you would expect a statue to. It's just sort of. Uh, hey guys, something tells me we should stay away from that. Aridan, I think staying away from anything in this city is a good idea. Yeah. Stay away from the, the 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 thing. Can I go up and poke it? It's in it's down, down in the gladiator pit. pit. Oh, uh, so, never mind. so you can throw something at it. Yeah, hunt the rock at it. See what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. I support you in your dreams. <laughs> oh, Arena. Yeah, Arena's gonna try to throw a rock at it. Should I roll? You, you, you gonna drop it on it? You can't really throw. Oh it. yeah, I'll do that. The grid. Uh, it's right on its head if I can. <laughs> can you reset the tachometer? I already did. <laughs> uh, you drop it. It clanks off of it doesn't appear to do anything. Okay. Well, we should probably avoid ending up in that pit. <laughs> I'm sure we'll succeed at that goal. Besides um, the statues, pedestal, and mural, uh, the only other thing in here is that uh, hallway that leads off to the left of the of the relief. I thought there was a thing that went down. It leads, uh, it's a narrow tunnel with stairs leading down. Oh, but it's on the left. On I the see. left of the Got relief. it. Um, okay. I'll explore down there. Yeah. Alright. I'll go too. Yeah, yeah, we can all go that way. Uh, do we need torches? Um, it is indeed dark. Okay. Torch. I have, I have some glow-in-the-dark chalk. That's and I have ten light. torches. Light a torch. So I, yeah, so I'm gonna have a torch and I can give one to somebody else if somebody else wants one. Oh, yeah, sure. So okay. these stairs lead down and wrap around. Until you realize that they lead directly into this gladiator pit. Oh, all right, back it up, guys. We said we uh, won't come down here. You can see <laughs> the pit. You can see this this uh, construct-like uh, humanoid. And to the far side of the gladiator pit, uh, you can see um, there is another hallway on the far side of the pit that leads somewhere else. Damn it! Ooh, mm. I really want to fight this, it. Is this like Harry Potter with the chess game? I haven't seen that play, um, but I do really want to fight this thing. I think we should fight it. Okay. All in favor of fighting it. It'll okay. be fun. Sure. It'll be fun. There's five of us and one of it. How bad could it be? It's not like it's a Dwemer automaton. Before we you got fight it, point. should someone go maybe tie a rope up top so we can get out if we have to? We just go to the stairs that we were just at. I'm imagining we're going to get trapped in here. Oh, so you got Zelda? Um, I don't have any rope. But then, now that was way back smart, up and then. Very intelligent there. I'm gonna go up and. Someone's gotta have rope. Tie a rope. Tie a rope. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying I'm out of rope. I do have a crowbar. Dangling. Dangling. So, how. Is this door five feet wide? Uh. Sorry, what door? I'm asking the door into the cage. Uh, yes. Oh, thank you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> mom! Hi! Thank you very much. I just got food, which is nice. cool. Um, I'm hey, wondering food. how many people can fit through this door at the same time. Uh, two if you squeeze, one normally. Then I think we should definitely try to do that. Yeah, I agree. Who wants to uh, go in with me? <clears throat> I don't know. I'll okay. go. And Air, you tied the rope, yeah? I tied the rope, but I'll come back down. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Yeah, Because I, I mean, definitely want to fight this thing. Yeah. Aaron and I can go in together first. Sure. Like, you're worried about it cutting us off or something. But... Yeah, but I also want to be first. The second oh, rope. Okay, I'll let you go. I'll let you go. <laughs> All right, you know what? You guys go. I'll stay, I'll stay up top. I'll stay up top. Wow. What a wimp. Do you know we're going to fight this thing? I am. Really? Cool. So you guys can uh, step and in. And she does. Yep. So we're 
we're lined up so that we get at least two people in there. Yeah, and Arena and Koros are following, I'm assuming. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. All right, so it's, sorry, it's, who's in the front? Dirk and? Theo. Theo. Uh, B, yeah. Then Irina and Koros. Yep. Yeah. And then Aaron and, and Irina Irina upstairs. Yeah. All right. Yep. Irina and then Koros way, way, way back. <laughs> cool. Dirk and Aaron, and you step in. Theo. Sorry, yes. Dirk and Theo. <laughs> you step in. And you feel the ground shift and something clicks. Yes. And you hear the loud clanking and a portcullis rising oh down the far God. hallway. Oh, oh that's cool. good. Are, is Arena able to come in? There's no uh, Zelda style I'll go right, cool. lockdown Sweet. doors. You're all right there. <clears throat> uh, you hear um, the grinding of stone and uh, heavy foot clatters uh, as four uh, golem like creatures. Uh, there was only one. They are, uh, they don't look the same as this, this construct like creature that is uh, frozen in front of you. Uh, they are coming down the far hallway. They look like painted clay statues of uh, Isari warriors, but they are animated. Like terracotta warriors? And they are, yes, like terracotta warriors. Okay, and they are carrying like four spears. Oh, we need those! Oh, cool, okay, kill them! <laughs> and they come Not Legend of charging sure. in to the gladiator pit. Let's roll initiative. Right. Yes. Bring the tracker up before anyone clicks their button. Alright. What's this? Th okay, I'm supposed to do something Click before your token. I... Oh, God, but I'm never on my token. Oh. <laughs> Everything is difficult, you know? Token. Alright, I did it correctly. Are you happy? W initiative. Initiative. Ooh, boop. Do, do, do. All right, let me put these guys in. They are going to get a turn. Jake. Yes. Nothing. Yeah. What? Okay. How dare they have a turn, Jake? I know. Google tells me when you take pictures and you took a picture of something today and everyone has bad handwriting and I'm like, ah, this should all be doctors. <laughs> Just upsetting. We'll talk about that later. Sorry. <laughs> I have never opened that page of the monster manual before. That's hmm. not a good sign. Mm -mm. Oh, I guess I'll <laughs> scout it out. <laughs> no, I'm already past it. I really like having two of you sitting next to him. We can cheat. <laughs> oh, I'm not there. Rocks fall, aired and dice. Oh, uh, you know. <laughs> Your horse? That's, Goblins that's eat it. Three sets of rocks falling on me in the past like 30 minutes. <laughs> a lot of rocks. Alright, and then I need one more token. Maybe I should just sit this close to the GM. <laughs> oh my god, Lily. How'd you do that? You skidded right out of the TV. Sorry, guys, give me one more second. Alright. Start numerically descending. Dirk, you've got the first initiative. These four uh, gladiator statues, animated statues, are coming down the hallway into this gladiator pit. Oh, I'm running up with the first one, and he's getting four attacks. All right. That's um, 27, 19... 23 and 19. Uh, it's AC 17, so uh, I think you're good. Nice. <clears throat> and he's going to get 8, 9, 15, 20. Oh, God. Total that for me, please. I'm, I'm totaling it in my hand. Cool. Uh, oh, my God. 24. Plus 20. 44? So 44 points of damage. Nice. Jesus. Uh, you definitely take a big chunk out of that one because, you know, they're made of clay. Um, but it is clearly still moving and operating. 
Uh, 40. That's my turn. Sorry, 40 what? 40. 44. Four. Great. Irina, you're up next. Right. I'm gonna go to that same one and wail on it. Alright, so you're gonna run in? Yeah. And that's in that one. Uh, it actually, as you run in to attack it, it lowers its spear very quickly. Um, and it's actually gonna take a hit on you. Oh, oh uh, that oh. sucks. So you're gonna take uh, 11 piercing damage. Ouch. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try to hit it again. Not do very well. Cool. Uh, that is not enough. It's also got a shield. So it lowers the spear. You cut yourself badly coming into it, but you still try and get that second attack in and it just knocks it away with the shield. Irina just saw her friend be super cool and she was like, Yeah, I can do it too! Um, that guy was rude to you. That uh, figure... <laughs> That construct that was standing in the gladiator pit, um, its head snaps to attention. Um, you see its eyes quickly dart across each of you that's in front of it and across these uh, gladiator-looking things. Um, and it says, uh, uh, Clay he Golems. Talks. Clay Golems, animated. Danger. And it just whips out uh, a, a uh, sword... And uh, it jumps forward towards the gladiator things, and it okay. starts attacking. Oh, it's on our side. Oh, I've been a friend. Is Pharaoh? Yeah, well, that, 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 let's not assume it. Pharaoh's anything. upstairs. Okay. By you. Cool. <laughs> He's watching it. It's fine. I He's in uh, the safety. He has, like, zero hit points. Does anyone sell popcorn? <laughs> Pharaoh's just sitting there popcorn. eating bread. <laughs> watching, because he thinks it's a show, because it's gladiators, right? The chair, give him the chair. <laughs> Um, Bring the hammer down. And it's going to slice up one of them for some damage. Uh, Koros. Um, I'm just going to, well, I mean, hide it in the back, obviously. But uh, in addition to that, I'm going to just blast away at the one that Dirk already damaged. Alright. Just give it some of that. Pew pew, yeah that hits. Both right. those hit. Nice. There was actually one more pew pew, sorry. There's three pew pews now? I believe I have three pew pews. Hey -o! that's a crit pew pew. pew, -pew. <laughs> Not a very good roll at all. Uh, yes. so that's eighteen and eight, so twenty six. Those were terrible rolls. No, wait, wait, 16 and 8. So, 24. 24. Alright, uh, this is the one that Dirk was hitting? Yeah. Alright. Cool. Uh, on their turn, they're going to flood into the, the gladiator arena. Um, arena, the one fighting you is still going to be standing in the doorway, in that hallway there, because you've charged up to it. Um, the other three... Uh, are going to file into um, into the pit, uh, and two of them are going to come up against Dirk. Wait right on, boys. My AC's 21. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, let me show you the page up. <clears throat> it's the loincloth. It's secretly powerful. Um, you gave me a magic That idea. makes sense. <laughs> Uh, that is a miss and a hit. Uh, sorry, it makes three attacks. That is a miss and two hits. So you Rude. take uh, 22 damage from the first one. Rude. Cool. Uh, and then the next one. Two, three. Uh, your AC is what? 21. 21. All right, so that's again two hits for another 22 damage. What's going to happen to me? So these two swarm over and just start stabbing you. Wailing. This is just the, the curse of having that ice These things are hit pretty hard. Yep. Uh, one is going to attack at Irina. Irina, what's right. your AC right now? It's 17? 17. Two Eight. hits, 22 damage. 
Oh, man. Oh, so these goodness. things, they just, the, the spheres are going really fast. Jab, jab. They move sort of like like a bit lumbering and slow while they're moving. Uh, but then once they, when they, when they move these spheres, they, their arms move really quickly. Um, and the last one is going to fight uh, at that construct that well, it's fighting against. Construct to be construct. Robot fight! Two. All right, Aridin. How deep is the pit from where I am? Uh, that's a great question. Jump. Would it hurt Jump. if I jumped in? Uh, it's the the metal bars right? are not wide enough necessarily to climb through. Oh, what was the point of climbing the rope? Or to tie in the rope? Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I can confirm looking at this. There, well, you could squeeze through one. But you couldn't jump down. Uh, if I squeeze through one and then go down the rope, do I? Will I still have time to attack one? Uh, probably not. Squeezing is slow. All right, I'll just shoot him from up here with my bone out of him. All right. Fair enough. Um, one of the two that's attacking Dirk, the one in front of Irina, or the one in front of the construct. Uh, I'll help Dirk out. He's got two on him. All right. Bow. <clears throat> you said seventeen hits. Yes, 17 hits. Nice. Other bow. Boom. Boy. Last bow. Two thirds of the Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Theo. Alright, when you say terracotta warriors, do they actually look like they're breakable like that? Yeah, but when they've been hit, they, they, they like chip and crack, but not. it doesn't seem to be uh, slowing them down any yet. Rode them with water. I'm wondering if this is a situation where it's more of a bring the hammer down or bring the great axe down. I, you think that the hammer would be particularly effective. Alright, that was my question. Uh, okay, I prefer the hammer anyway. So, Warhammer, bam, smashing faces. I'd like to go... Uh, guess one of the ones on Dirk, because there's two. And a rainy can heal or something. Yeah, one of the ones on Dirk. Don't really care which. Alright. Uh, try again. Wow. Uh, they, wow. They, mm, crappy. Uh, they're still moving very quickly, like darting left and right and knocking <laughs> attacks away from the shield. You can't re -roll their, their small movements are very quick. But now they can hit me. <laughs> and I hit, missed all three attacks. Yes, they can. Uh, they okay, oh, let wait. me... Hang on. I'm gonna use... Um, I want to use. I don't know what I want to use. I'm scared to use anything. Ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to do anything. That was a lie. Sorry. I did her. Right. Dirk. I try to. No, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk. I realize I can't anyway. Okay. Is the one I was fighting next to me still? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. No, sorry, the one you were fighting? Okay. No, these well, other two a new one. pushed in. I'm going to use um, Sharpen the Blade for three key points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And give my... I focus, like, my chi or whatever, and now my whip is a plus three whip. Nice. Is it magic? And That's cool. Uh, it's, it's also counts as magical. Sweet. And and one of them is going to get three attacks. Great. So that's 17, 17, and like 300. <laughs> 300 doesn't hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Give me Just damage. touch yeah. Xerxes blade a little bit. Damage. 10, 11, plus th 35. 35 total? Yeah. Holy crap. Because instead of being plus 5, now it's plus hey. 8. Hey. <laughs> I would have done that too if any of my attacks did it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that thing. Sure, you're just, yeah, you're right? just whipping and like pulling off pieces of it. Like, like it should, the, I'm hitting it with a whip and it shouldn't be hurting it, but it is. It's Chris. cracking like the stone. Chris eating breadcrumbs is like, that's not, that's not realistic. <laughs> <That's even better. laughs> I don't buy it. <clears throat> Irina. Alrighty, I'm, I'm gonna 
Let's go ahead and try to hit it again. Good call. The one in front of me, still. Good call. <laughs> hey! Hey, that's a crit. Nice. Nice! Dang. Nice, okay. Amazing! That's a lot of damage. So that's yeah. what, 15 and 6, so 21. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hit it again. Oh, nice. That does not hit. The first one catches it off guard, and you take a big chunk <laughs> out of its side. Uh, but then when you come around for the other swing, uh, the shield there is ready to block your blow. Cool. <laughs> uh, uh, that construct continues to fight the one in front of it. Um, and appears to be doing a good amount of damage to it with its sword. Uh, he has a really nice sword. I should steal it later. <laughs> Boros. Yeah. Um. I'm going to... Still going to blast again. Sorry. Spaced out there for a sec. Um, more blasty blasty. Alright. No. Against, uh, I think the one that... Irina's engaged with one, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, that Congratulations. one. Congratulations. Hey! I said, I said with, not two. This you should why... roll your damage in chunks so that you could target those to different people. Prepositions are important, is what I was going to say. Uh, Bobby, did you hear me? <laughs> I, I did, but I didn't quite understand what you meant. Uh, rather than attack, 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 damage, 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 do attack, damage, attack, damage, attack, damage, because uh, oh, yeah, that good. first one is enough to finish the guy off. Okay. Ah, so you wasted I, the. I see what you mean. You wasted yes, that damage. makes sense. Well, uh, can he use the blasty blast on the first one and then the other? Uh, two sorry, the first two. We'll finish that guy off. The third one. It's fine. I can, I can waste one blasty blasty. Yeah. I'm a man of much blasting. <laughs> <clears throat> you hit that one a couple times. It shatters and falls to the ground as a pile of clay, uh, and the spear clatters to the ground. One extra blast into the pile just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, pile of clay. Yeah. That'll show him. Alright. Uh, the remaining ones. Uh, one is going to attack that construct. Uh, the other two are going to attack, <clears throat> excuse me, Theo and Dirk. And reduce Dirk to zero to points. Okay. Oh, these are on Theo, whose AC is 14 right now. Mm -hmm. uh, those will all three hit uh, for 33 damage. Why am I not? So I want to say let's not go in the pit, guys. Then these Shut three, up, younger brother. only one will hit on Dirk Courage. Nice. Uh, for 11 damage. <clears throat> Dirk, you're starting to... So to their rhythms appear to be very repetitive, like video game enemies. Wait, weren't you already down? No. Me? No. Yeah. Are you down now? Um, no, I'm not doing so hot, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dirk's we, clearly we, having we a really great time, but he's wounded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. Aridin. Oh, God. Uh... So Shoot better, me. brother! Uh, I'm gonna squeeze through and go down there. And then that's my action, correct? Yeah. Then I'm gonna action surge and uh, start attacking one of the ones on Dirk. Great. Nope. Yep. How's he feel? He's looking pretty crumbly. Crumbled? Oh, damn it! Uh, I don't know what the bloody Crumbly. equivalent is for a Cr clay statue. Crumbleed? Crumbleed? Crumbleed. Crumbleed. <laughs> Broken damage. <laughs> no, that's just not descriptive enough. Crumbler. Um, <coughs> okay. I want to use a uh, maneuvering attack. When I hit a creature with my weapon, I can expend a superiority die to maneuver one of my carbons into a more advantageous position. Great. Add superiority dies. I'm going to roll a d10 to the damage. Say, Dirk, yes. back up before you die. Word. And then, uh, Dirk, Does you it... can use your reaction to move up to half your speed without provoking opportunity attacks. I do that just straight away. <laughs> Aaron squeezes through, drops down between you two, knocks it back, is like, get back! And you're like, I do. <laughs> like, okay. 
All right. Theo. Uh, back to back with my bro Dre, obviously, to hit those things. Unless there's one right in front of me and doing that would provoke an opportunity attack. No, you can you can get back to back with your brother right. right between that's, those that's two. That's the way we do it. Excellent. Now if they can't uh, tell us when it is, they're screwed. Exactly. Alright. I didn't fail this time. How does how does he feel about that, first guy? Uh, he feels like he doesn't like that. But he's still <laughs> moving. <laughs> Alright. I wouldn't either. Damn it, Jim. Actually, I'm oh, not wait. sure if they have feelings. Wait, that's a two. <laughs> <laughs> you can reroll twos. Yes, ones and twos. Hey-o! Gosh. No, he's still not. got one more. I know. Hey-o! Nice. nice. He is very, very crumbly, but still standing. Gee, this is so rude of him. Okay, um... Uh, I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know. I just... Wow. Uh, I'm very ouched. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do action surge too. Keep All right, him. just wailing on people. You think one more good hit might finish him? You got this. And I think he's trying to do. Did I roll oh. a one on damage? <laughs> God. <laughs> and it doesn't Lily, work. Literally with the good rolls. I know, guys. But now you really hard. think one more good hit would finish him? <laughs> yeah, well, I have my. Action can't, can't please be Pharaoh's turn. <laughs> No, fuck that guy, man. <laughs> His Pharaoh little spirit rock. weapon. <laughs> I would just like to say that all my damage rolls have been incredibly low. I'm right. rolling like a d12 or something. And now that one crumbles. All right, and it's I have another spear attack. clattering to the ground. You've got one attack remaining, which you can turn and hit the other one. Do I have advantage because I'm with my brother? Uh, no. All right, well. You said you're back to back, not flanking it. Well. All right, I don't hit it. All right. You can't maneuver into position because, you know, you're back to back, so you'd have to turn around. All right, Dirk. Uh, so I've backed up half my speed. I'm going to back up so that I am 10 feet away from yep. uh, one of the things, and I'm going to whip it good. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's it. That's like a 25 and a like 27 and a nat 1. Hey -o! Uh, so, so go ahead and roll the damage for those first two. That's 6 plus 16, 24. Math. Okay. Good thing. Do, 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 do. Did you say 6 plus 16 is 24? not. It's 22. Mm -hmm. 22. Math is a good thing. <laughs> Give me two. Thank you. A good thing I mean a thing I like never do and avoid doing at all costs. All right. Uh, what's going to happen on this nat one? Uh, a rock falls on is you. It, is, it in, is it into our combat? Because then he whips me and I fall because he grabs around my ankle and I torn down. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. You guys like, are in the combat. The nat one, and I'm right you there. The, you're like, whipping, I mean, because you're 10 feet away, you're sort of whipping, like, over and across the, the Eldritch Brothers, and your first two are really masterful. Um, and the second one hits Theo in the back of the leg, and he falls to a knee. <sighs> My leg! Oh, no. Not really. All right, Irina. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run up to Dirk and use... Lay on hands and heal him. Uh, How's twenty five? Hey <laughs> <laughs> twenty five hit points for Dirk Courage. Nice. Right. I'm feeling good. 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 Cool. Uh, that, Just her amazing glowing presence. You that know? construct is going to. Uh, just finish off the one that it's fighting up by the hallway, and it crumbles, and the spear clatters to the ground, um, and it just turns around to look at you. It's gonna kill us. Um, we'll it can see. kill us after it kills the other guy. Koros. Is there a, is there a clay one left or just yep. there's the one left yep. that everyone's yep. around. Well, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give us some of that. Just hey, I see you. Third time I've done that this fight. 
Rude. That's where all my good roles are going. Yes, I'm stealing your good roles. That's Dude, a miss. Only it's Christmas. You go to fire again, and nothing happens. Uh, normally, when you miss, it's because, you know, you, you, you did a component miss. wrong, or you did a thing. Uh, this feels very, very different. Uh, in fact... Uh, normally you feel, when you do an Eldritch Blast, or you do one of your spells, you feel just that touch of your patron's presence. Mm-hmm. You're not feeling that right now. Reach out and touch Yo. your face. Mm. <clears throat> Alright. The, uh, remaining clay soldier, clay gladiator, is going to attack Aridin this time. Bring it. Don't bring it. What's your AC? 19 19. with your shield? Yeah. Uh, That's one hit for 11 damage. All right. Aridin. I would like to attack him. Beat the crap out of it. He's very rude. Mm -hmm. Quite rude. That's how I feel about it. Skip the introductions. How's he feel about it? Straight to the fighting. Quite rude. He feels not quite crumbled yet. How about now? Now it feels pretty clum- crumbly. How about now? <clears throat> um, still. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Crumbles? <laughs> feeling it now, Mr. Feeling it now. Theo. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on this bench. Can't hit him. Not on it. I'm on it. Get more on it, brother. Get Not down on it. it. There you go. Get down on it. Uh, guys, why do I roll no damage? <laughs> There's no point in having a fighter like this. Oh my god. You're here for more. Uh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I'm like, I might as well be like chiseling something in his side. You're trying to write Eldris in him. I might be. I might be. That's exactly what Theo's doing, because I know there's only one <laughs> left. <laughs> like, All hang right, on, Derek. guys. I'm going to get the knife kill. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna hit him three more times. Is it? It, it was a really close take. Uh, you'll see in a sec. All right. Well, if I hey, look! For... You've got the numbers working for you now. Yeah, I got the numbers working for me. All right, hold on. That I can't do math. That is ju- those first two. Oh, all right. Whoosh, whoosh, he explodes, even though a whip shouldn't be able to do that. But um, I, but I know how to do it. And his spear <laughs> clatters to the ground. Grab the spear. Uh, Pharaoh. <laughs> oh, I dropped some bread while doing it. Yeah, I was gonna say his mouth full of bread, and he's like, that was great! <laughs> Turn and bow. The so, construct standing in front of you turns and says, Analysis, Composition, Adventuring Party. Uh, it tur- Hello! It turns, like, to each of you in turn. Uh, it says, Fighter, Fighter, no. Paladin? Warlock. Paladin. Monk. He knows the rules of this game! He's <laughs> <laughs> still gonna bags? murder us. Uh, if I were on a scale of 1 to 20, how strong am I? <laughs> Analysis. Weak, not a threat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, Fighting style, does, however. Does the <laughs> voice sound like a person, or does it sound like artificial? It or sounds mostly person like. Yeah. Um, mm. There is a, a, a like a an organ like quality to it. So like breathy, uh, breathy and sort of like like Gaskety? some notes like General Grievous. Some notes uh, linger with certain words. Okay, uh, resonance. Um, res- it has a resonance. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, it turns I back as analysis. The... Twins, blacksmiths. He's heard of us. <laughs> he didn't even need to see my guild letter. I was gonna um, move really slowly to start collecting the spears, but I'm afraid of this thing, so I'm gonna do it real slow like. Uh, it says... Like, watching it the whole time. Internal chron- chronometer misaligned. Uh-oh. I'm unsure how long it has been. Do, do you? Do you know? Hello! Greetings. Okay, that's progress. Um, who are you? I am 
Nell. Nell. Nice, nice, nice to meet no. you. A pleasure. Likewise. What um, do you do? I am a chronicler. What does that? I've I not heard of this. What is a chronicler? That's good. I record experiences. This is Enoch. For posterity. Oh. Um, do you know much about this city? Indeed. I'm we are sorry. we are new to the city. We know very little about it. Uh, I am still in Obo. And he looks around. Affirmative. Yes, uh, confirmed. It's going to talk weird. Do any of you know the year? I I would know the year. Do, do we? Like, do we? Other than charisma work, check? Work, 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 yeah. You would know the year on the Azamarin calendar. Can I charisma check? Uh, to see if you know the year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take charisma checks to see. <laughs> <laughs> I tell oh. him the year on the Asmaran calendar as far as oh. I know it. I know the uh, exact date. Let me pull it up. Or the dragon calendar. Whatever calendars I know, I'm, I'm telling him. It's Chinese New Year. Uh, it's and, the monkey. Uh, you, yeah, like you name you name a year and he says that does not compute. Uh, and then, uh, hold on, I need this calendar. Because uh, I have which year it is in each of my different calendars. What year is that? Uh, he says, uh, y you name, uh, what year is it? I think it's 7110 in the Azamaran calendar. And, uh, he says, that would mean a great deal of time has passed. My deterioration does not indicate that. What calendar is this? Uh, the Azamaran calendar. I don't know what it would be in the Azamar. historic calendar. At that designation. Different to Empire. New one, I assume. Are you aware of the Isari calendar? I am not. Am I? I wouldn't be. You wouldn't necessarily be. Like, you know about it, like, because various folks from Isari use it from, like, a, like, week to week or month to month, but you wouldn't necessarily know what year it is on that calendar. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. What does Aradin know? I don't know the conversion. Uh. <clears throat> I oh, asked him what the Sorry, last... I didn't see what your... I got a nat 20. Oh, you got a nat 20. You know exactly yeah. what year it is on the Isari calendar, which is to say... Oh, shit, now I gotta figure out what year it is in the Asari calendar. <laughs> uh, I believe it is 2221. Yeah, because we're still in Talos. I ask him the last thing he remembers. And he says, uh, I was escorting a adventuring party, chronicling. And uh, I was damaged. Are these skeletons Water. your adventuring party? Analysis. Affirmative. Hi. Do you tell him the year? Yeah. 2221? Yeah, 20... Uh, yes, 2221. Hey, we're only a year away from a pretty cool number. <laughs> you're, you're just in time for that. Uh, Can you tell us anything about the... the layout of the city? Indeed, I can... Uh, recount my chronicle... for... Any details of the city. How long has it been since you were last active? I lean into Arena and say, Can we keep him? I really want to. I think he's cool. Me too. It's been approximately 50 solar periods. Just won't tell them. Or else won't like it. 50 years. I don't care. <laughs> Roughly a hundred years on the Isari calendar, but yes. Of course is the smart one, so wow. I assume he won't like it. <laughs> well, Quite a while. When you're old, you have good stories. So, yeah, what what she said, like, what happened to your adventuring party? Where were you going? I am unsure. Uh, I presume they were defeated by these gladiators. They are quite fearsome. You don't know what Dirk their mission up. was? Sorry, what? You don't know what their mission was? They were... Typical adventures, exploring for treasure. Understand. Dirk. Uh, Dirk pipes up and says, Would you like to come with us? We're going to be exploring this city. We have a quest, but we'll see quite a bit of it, and your knowledge will be useful, and we may find new things. Yes, your and things you have could... changed in the last hundred years. I could catalog more. Chronicle your adventures. We're all very excited. Except the eldest brothers. Um, we should take this through 
Say that again, Bobby. We should take the spears. Oh, yeah, I, I, I was collecting them. Good. Theo was Good. going around picking them up. But I was doing a scaredy cat like because I was scared of them. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> but I assume by now I've finished because they were talking a while. Chronicler, do you know anything about the chamber like above us with the wall relief and the strange column? I'm not familiar with the details of the shrine puzzles. Well, there's shrine puzzles. I'm aware of their existence. I mean, one of them tried to poison us. So, do all the shrines have one of these? To my understanding, or a puzzle? Yes. Yeah, it's totally. How many shrines are there? There's. Uh, there's. There's either four or nine shrines. I'm not sure. There were six. Nine, right? Oh my gosh, we have eight different numbers. This is great. <laughs> Jake, how many shrines are there? I'm not sure you know. Ah, yeah, we do. You know. I thought we knew. Oh, yeah, you can, can ask. We ask I want to ask uh, the Chronicler. Good idea. Uh, Nell says, uh, Jake's double checking. Yeah, there are nine shrines. Ha. Ha. <laughs> All right, let's go well, bring the spears unless up they have Let's go change in the last 50 solar cycles. Let's go put those spears in the, on the pedestals and see yeah. what happens. Huh? I'm carrying him, uh, and he can go upstairs, right? Yeah, he's he's, he's, legs. he's evaluating like the the motion of each of his parts, doing a diagnostic. Uh, are there what others? You know? Yeah, <laughs> like I'm scared of this thing. <clears throat> uh, I was constructed by the Omoan architects. When? How long ago? Uh, many hundred years ago. Wow. These Omoan architects are really another stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'll actually take this moment to describe a bit about uh, Nell. Nell has a symbol on its forehead uh, that appears to be like uh, those mazes you have seen. Um, but this is a unique um. maze. Engraved into its forehead. Hmm. Um, Nell like is a, oof tau stuff. Yes. Uh, Nell is a mix of uh, metal and wood um, and <clears throat> has a series of intricate uh, holes and mechanisms on both of its arms. Does the maze look kind of like a circuit board? Uh, <laughs> um, on Nell's back, there are a few different. Uh, like, they almost look like exhaust pipes sticking out in various places, sort of over Nell's shoulders behind Nell's head. And do we see exhaust ever? No, uh, occasionally a little puff of steam or warm air, um, but not smoke. <laughs> occasionally backfires. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go put those spears on the statues and see what they do. Yeah. It's a good plan, my sport. It. We only have four, and I... I don't know if there were only four statues. <laughs> there were indeed four statues. That portcullis that the golems came out of opened, right? Is it still open? Can yeah, further help? down. Um, so you guys, uh, if you head down that hallway a bit, um, you see that there are four cells, each of the portcullis, which is now closed. I um, mean, you actually see that there are four, there's a statue in each of the, behind each of the portcullises. Hmm. Cool. So yeah, I go put I go put the spears in the statue's hands. You put yeah. the spears in each of the statue's hands upstairs, mm -hmm. um, and that pedestal that you messed with before uh, begins to turn on the spot, and an ornate stone cube corkscrews up from the hatch in the top. That's cool. Um, I can show you what this cube looks like. Give me just a second to find the pictures. Da da da. I missed all the pictures. Is it the go. cosmic cube? Pardon? It's the cosmic cube? Yes, it's Should the cosmic. No, it? it's a stone cube with an engraving in it. <clears throat> uh, the engraving is of uh, that same uh, Kamadan shape that you have seen before. Kamadan. You oh yeah, the cool, snakes. cool jaguar thing with snakes. Oh, with the snakes. Right. Yeah. Is it snack is an animal? Yes. Not this. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. I'm just 
inspecting it. Yeah. Uh, Nell, do you know what that is? That is a puzzle cube. What do they do? They were used to seal the entrance to the Tomb of the Nine Gods. Oh. oh. Do we want to open the Tomb of the Nine Gods? That, Maybe? If, Uncertain. That You told me sounds... your objective was adventure? Our objective is to find something called the Soulmonger and stop it from stealing everyone's souls. I'm kind of worried about tombs. Objective. Yes, it's very important. That's why I don't look as handsome as I normally do. The HP is directly reflected in his handsomeness. Uh, we know we described it. There's some there's some skin flakiness. So, who has like a bag? Backpack. I had it. Yeah, I'm sure we can. Figure something out. What What are you giving me? Because I'll add it to my inventory. The puzzle cube. The puzzle the... cube. Oh, the puzzle. Okay. The Commodon puzzle cube. Got it. Commodon. Got it. Rubik's cube. So there's On the nine inventory. of these, presumably, for the nine gods, or the nine temples. It sounds to me. If I was going to put some crazy magical artifact somewhere, I would put it... What, what, what is this tomb like? Is it magical? There have been no accountings of the inside of the Tomb of the Nine Gods. Hmm. Few, if That's any, cool. have escaped. That sounds good. No that account. sounds like a place. I have some kind records of... of its construction. Well, I'd love to hear them. Lay it on a archlich being came to Omu and enslaved the Omuans and uh, dictated to them, uh, forced them to construct the tomb of the nine gods. Uh, it was constructed uh, with various traps and Mazes, puzzles. Intent unclear. Hmm. But but you did what? say Arch Lich, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Who are the nine gods? Uh, the nine the nine gods. Cause I'm in the market. <laughs> <laughs> I've been shopping around. The nine gods of Omu came after Uptau had abandoned U Omu. <laughs> I'm happy to list them, but you have but to take a second. apparently still fans of puzzles. Do, do we know why Uptau abandoned Omu? Ijin, Kubasan, Moa, Neng Neng, Obolaka, Papa... <laughs> Papa Zotl, Shagambi, Unk, and Wango. Papa Zotl. They all sound like nice people. Raw, Newt, Papa Zotl. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch that movie. <laughs> Playing with the boys. Do, <clears throat> do we know why... Uptau abandoned Omu? Uptau abandoned Omu because of his anger at the Omuans. Oh, right. Okay. For... I feel like we got told this story earlier as well. And For... Trying to remember. Betraying his edicts, hardening, uh, uh, engaging in slavery. Uh, Don't like that. Being conquered by Empire from the East. Do you know which empire from the Azamar. Ah, Azamar and Calendar. <laughs> there we go. I'll sync it up. Indeed. So it sounds like to get into this tomb, we need to get all nine puzzle cubes. Well, all right then. Well, there's another temple like right there, right, guys? So let's go. <laughs> well, wait. Okay, wait. So, okay. okay. No, what's up? No, no, I was good. There's the, the statues that we put the spears into the hands of are the statues down here, right? In the shrine upstairs. Oh, never mind. I thought you said that Fort Cullis is lifted and there were other statues. The, those, uh, there are more clay gladiators behind Port Cullis's. Uh but those let's portcullises leave. do not appear to be rising while you guys have these spears. Let's, let's leave. Yeah, let's go anyway. 
Right, let's let's go to the next shrine. Nell, you are welcome to tag along. Please tag along. Right. You're fine. If I consult my expert map, Jake, I believe there was another temple like right here, right? <laughs> From your view, there's <clears throat> a uh, You recall there being another shrine to the west. There was, so there was a, to the west, there was a walled compound that was uh, smoking that you did not investigate. And beyond that walled compound, you did see what may have looked like a shrine to the west. Uh, well, remember there's that big avenue down the middle that was a raised avenue? Yes. So from there, you could have a bit of a view. Um, you all are able to make your way back over to that avenue, um, and you can see... <clears throat> Excuse me, in the distance, um, up past this walled compound that is smoking, uh, you can see uh, another Before shrine. Before we go any further, how's everyone feeling? Oh, I, I, I felt better. I could go for a quick little rest before we go fight more things. Yeah, sounds good. I would use splash of healing. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I, say no. I don't need a rest. Need a like, if you want a rest. That's fine with me. I'm like bloody and totally gross. It wouldn't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a good plan. During, well, during our rest. So I say we we find somewhere hidden and rest. We could just rest in this shrine. Just below. So so you guys already have started to make your way up to the avenue. Oh. So you told me that you were headed that way. I'm just telling okay. you can see. Um, but if you just literally climb down the side of the avenue, it's thick jungle brush. In this city. Let's hide down here. Grown. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, during the rest, I'm gonna talk to Kuros and be like, "Guess they're keeping that thing as their pet." I, I mean, it might be useful. I mean, we let you have a dinosaur. I feel like it's only fair, you know. Yeah. I, wait. When did I? When did I have a? We we had the, the hadrosaur. That a wasn't my. I was not involved. No, no, you you yeah. really wanted it. That's why I bought it for you. Not how I remember it. Oh well. Okay. Well, I let I let you have it, so I feel like it'd be reasonable if we let them. Well, have that's this. that's fair of you. Thanks. I think that's correct. We should we should let them keep their own. Uh, I am quite players. magnanimous. It's been known to happen. That's not a thing anyone says about you. Yeah, well, yeah. Nell turns. I totally mispronounced magnanimous. Uh, character. Dirt and Aridin in arena because Theo and Koros are chatting off to the side. And says, "Would you like musical entertainment during your rest?" Yes, please. Hell yeah, bitch. Um, Nell grabs either arm like this. Uh, his, its fingers covering the various holes and operating the various uh, moving pieces that now that you think of it look like saxophone pieces and things like that, or like a clarinet. Uh, and the 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 pipes begin emitting a bit more steam and. After a few seconds, uh, it's uh, clearly music, like uh, a cross between like a pan flute and a pipe organ. Um, just soft, melodic, pleasant music, and uh, Nell's fingers move to the different holes to play different notes and things. Do you know Wonderwall? Nell is great. <laughs> I love Nell. Is he's kind of like um, he's kind of like TikTok from. The Wizard of Oz books. I don't know. The Wizard of Oz books. They're really good, but TikTok is Dorothy's companion for a while, and he's a, a wind-up man. Aww. He's super cool. Great books. <laughs> Highly recommend. Dirk is feeling fresh, ready to go. All right. Quite. <clears throat> Let's do it. Ah, I'll do one more die. I'll do one more die. <laughs> <laughs> you got a ton of healing, Theo. Yeah. But now Doing I'm back well, to my crappy full. Over full, no. I can't be over full. It's so sad. <laughs> it's hey, very Chorus. sad. Shut up, Aridin. Feeling good, Chorus? <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Nobody likes you. Nobody likes younger siblings. Stop harping on me for being younger! That's Whoa. debatable. We might have been Whoa. switched at birth. They All would never the confuse me for you. Come on. <laughs> All right. When I became the younger brother, target of bullying. 
Just, you know what? With Amos again. It's been a while since Amos has been around. I need yeah, someone yeah, to dump yeah. on, okay? <laughs> to the next shrine. Alright. Yeah. Next Are shrine. you guys going to go through that walled compound or around it? Uh, hey, class feature, can you scan it out? <laughs> class feature is not here. Uh, Yo, yeah, I sent right? class feature away. Damn yep. it. Class feature's on a solo quest. Uh. Can't go through it. Can't go around it. Swim through it, not over it. <laughs> okay, so... Um, it's just a burning compound, right? Uh, I can describe it again. Can Pharaoh send his eyeball? Mm, I have Pharaoh no. has an eyeball? He does. He has a he does. one. How's it actually got... Oh, it's our eye. Ones. Um, I don't know how far <laughs> it can go. Really fucking it's far. Really far. Um... You let it go through like a whole castle one time. Yeah, so there's a walled compound. Yeah, mansion. But... Gate uh, lies in splinters. Um, scorch marks deface the buildings. Smoke is drifting lazily. Uh, you can see near the center of the compound a plaza littered with charred human corpses. Oh, fun. That pack they... of wild dogs that was eating the corpses appears to have left now, having eaten its full. Filth. Like, recently charred? Yes, it's still smoking. Right, but, uh, oh. Are there... Flames? 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 Uh, it's just smoke. Oh, okay. It's Yeah, let's go through, why not? What's the worst that could happen? A dragon could eat us? Yeah, I, I would- Oh, I forgot people. about that! Oh, If there's a dragon in there, it's a little one. Let's- I, And there's I'm five gonna... of us. Six, no, counting out. No. It's a pretty large walled compound. I don't think I've ever seen a giant lizard creature other than the non-flying ones. Yeah, I don't think dragons are real. We you guys have all seen we've one. Seen it was one, above our heads. I've seen several, no. actually. Also, no. we saw that dragon that one time in that house. Strange Sport kind of dinosaur. I don't remember that. But we did see one yesterday. <laughs> Irina well, if you guys there. are all so scared, we'll go around. This is pretty <laughs> arena. Yeah, can we go around? Yeah, you can go around. Just take a look. Oh, let's go around. Let's go around. Let's go around. Yeah, no worries. All I, I mean, gotta say to we... you guys from something is dragon. <laughs> Alright. So you uh, travel around until you approach uh, what Nell describes as Kubazan's shrine. Ooh. What's Kubazan all about? Yeah, what's his deal, man? Say that word yeah. for word. Kubazan. You gotta give me a second. Mix up all the. Is he about Rubik's cubes? Rubik's yeah. cubes on. They're all about Rubik's cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is Kubas on? Oh, that one. Uh... Jumping puzzle. <laughs> Hopscotch. Hopscotch. I. Uh, Nell says, uh, "I can recount the legend of the nine gods if you desire." Ooh, uh, just a little yeah, story yeah. time. This Yay! seems like some useful context. Yeah. <clears throat> Just sit down, cross-legged, and look up at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nell, like, sh like, positions, and then, like, a, a different voice comes out of Nell's mouth. Um, clearly, like, a recording. Ah, uh, like a pre-recorded operator when you call Comcast. Of someone yeah. else. An echo of someone else's voice uh, coming out of Nell's mouth. I am so creeped out by this, just FYI. Long ago, the god Uptau hardened his heart and vowed to weep for the people of Omu no longer. The rain stopped, the jungle withered and died, and death slept, swept through Omu. One morning, a wise Zorbo emerged from her hollow tree and spoke to the dying Omuans. To convince Uptau of their worth, she decided to cook him a stew made from all their good qualities. Catching such virtues would not be easy, so she asked a wily almirage to help her. What's an almirage? The almirage snuck recklessness into the pot, which she saw as a virtue, and Uptau no. spat out the stew when he tasted it. No. From that day on, Obolaka, the Zorbo, and Ijin, the almirage, became terrible enemies. At noon, a brave commandant hopped down from her rock. 
She saw the evil in the Omuin's hearts and decided to lance it like a troublesome boil. The Kamadan fashioned a holy spear, but she left it by the riverbank, and a crafty grung stole it. In her rage... Oh, a grung is the frog thing, I bet. A Shagambi... <laughs> in her rage, Shagambi the Kamadan forgot all about the Omuins and chased Nang Nang the Grung forever across the sky. Oh, that's the relief we saw in that temple. When oh. evening came, a wily Eblis stepped from the, his reed hut. He didn't like the Omuins, but without them, he'd have no one to play his tricks on. The Eblis sent a marsh frog to reason with Uptau, but the frog was angry and decided to wrestle the god instead. This amused Uptau, so he gave the frog tentacles to make it stronger. When Kubazan the frog Hemoth re returned to Papazotl the Eblis, he chased Papazotl into the swamp with his new tentacles. That night, a Sioux monster broke into Uptau's palace and stole a pail of water for the Omoans. When the god came running to find it, the Sioux monster hid the pail in a Jakuli's burrow. Uptau asked the jungle animals where his water was hidden, and Moa the Jakuli was too honest to lie. When Wongo the Sioux monster found out how Moa had betrayed him, he vowed to catch the Jakuli and eat him up. All the while, Unk, the flail snail, lived deep under the earth. The noise of the other animals fighting made her slither up to the surface, and when day dawned over her shell, the light blinded Uptau and made his eyes water. Life returned to Omu, and the people built shrines to honor the animals who had saved them. Wow. Oh. Cool. So like we a... did the Commodon one. Mm -hmm. I think we should keep track of each of these gods and their, like, virtue thing. So, like, Mo was like, I gotta be honest. And the one started with an A was like, I like recklessness. And then... Yeah. Sneaking the recklessness into the stew was, like, a top quality play. I gotta say, Kip I respect that. And Kubazan was the frog? <laughs> Kubazan was the frog he I'm I'm excited that this story all revolves around stew. Kubazan's about chasing people yeah. in the swamps. This is that might be a more literal interpretation than we need. That, that... Good point. <laughs> Though if it comes down to like a foot race into a swamp, I stand corrected. <laughs> Possible. All right, let's. So this next this next shrine is the shrine of Kubazan. As I understand. <laughs> Unless things have changed. Okay. Sorry, the names are hard for me. Kubazan is which one? Frog. 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 Kubazan Frog. is the one who stole the spear. No, Kubazan the frog human. Can we read the Kubazan passage again? <laughs> Kubazan wrestled Uptau and then got tentacles. Yo, Nelthor, can you repeat the thing about Kubazan? <laughs> yep, Kubazan, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's really into that for someone that wasn't there. This, this whole premise is super cool, and we're gonna need it repeated about 30 times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kubazan, oh, I thought he was laughing at the Yo, Nelthor joke. Kubazan was a marsh frog uh, sent to reason with Uptau, uh, decided to wrestle with the god instead. This amused Uptau, so he gave the frog tentacles, um, and uh, nah. Kubazan the frog Hemoth then chased Papazotl the Eblis uh, back into the swamp. Eblis, the swamp. Aren't, isn't Eblis the creepy thing that the happened to the leak and da da da, yeah. right? Those cranes, Was yeah. it? Right, so yeah. I guess they're those scary it. cranes. They're bad. I'm not so sure I'm as excited about it then. So I like to fight whatever a frog Hemoth is. Brute strength. So I heard their tentacles. I think we know That's who's going to handle this puzzle. <laughs> Help us, brothers, to the rescue. All right, let's Arena go. Wants all the glory himself. Arena can help. <laughs> She's like five percent worse than us, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A rectangular pool of murky water stretches before this vine-draped shrine. Rope bridges. Rope bridges. Rope bitches. Rope bitches. Rope bitches. <laughs> that once spanned the water float on the surface, tangled with other debris. The shards of a toppled monolith form stepping stones to the middle of the pool where a statue of a stone frog rises above the water. Does the stone frog have anything in his tentacles? Does he have tentacles? <laughs> it is just a, a frog. It's pre-tentacles. Oh. Pre you have to give him his tentacles. Bees in the other room, she's watching the string. 
Can I toss a pebble into the lake? Into the pond? Do not disturb the water! Doing it anyway! Uh, who has a passive perception greater than 14? I do. Only Pharaoh. Gross. No, I do. No, I You I'm all notice me not movement me. that is not coming from that pebble. In fact, two uh, things that you thought might have been just plants sticking out, like reeds, um, they move and then dunk down into the water. Can we not hmm. disturb the water? Okay. <laughs> um, Can we see them under the water? Uh, it's murky, not any longer, it's murky water. Oh, okay. It's like swamp water. Is there a Wait. way into this temple that isn't that it does not involve us going into the water. Uh, you only see one set of doors. In fact, I can show you this little map. Please do. Yeah, this is hard. Uh, yeah, so many temples. I see, it, I see it. That one. So there's the water. Where are we? Are we at the bottom of the picture? Yeah. Oh, so can't we just like walk around and then go to the stairs? Yeah, you can walk around the pool and come into the side, but... Uh, there are some large stone doors that are shut in front of the shrine. Is this the swamp god? Swamp? Yeah, basically. Cool. It's the guy who gets tentacles as his reward, but I'm sorry, in what universe are tentacles a reward for anything? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Big stone doors, if we walk to the side that we just we can't open. The large yeah, stone doors. Yeah, that's my question. <clears throat> There is an inscription carved in a language that you recognize but are unable to read. Uh, uh, this actually... Above it. Right? What do we recognize it as? Uh, old Omuin. Mm. Which we've seen before oh! in Mangalore. Yo, Nell, can you read this? Yo, <laughs> Nell. Kubazan urges us to tread without fear and to give back as much as we take. Huh. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. I'm chill with that. It's very promising. Uh, mm -hmm. Can we try to open the door? Uh, it's it's like a large stone door. Do you want to like try to push on it or? Push I it? have a crowbar. All right, give it a try. It's not a pry bar. Can I assist? Sure. Assist means advantage. Oh, do I roll strength or something? Yes. All right. You didn't tell me it was stuck. That much. That's, that's not safe. a save. A Damn it, Jim. So do that over. Your save is a lot higher than your check. Yeah, but I rolled normal on the first one. Can I try? Um, yeah, I give I give the crowbar to... You have already been helping, so that is that is your attempt as well. Oh, I'm going to give the crowbar to Arena. Be like, yeah, you tried. It's pretty tough. Sure. I might, have loosened, I might have loosened it. I don't know. <laughs> you might have loosened it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh, just a strength check? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Mm, where the hell is it? Totally it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's just your stat. You just click the stat thing. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, that's uh, why I clicked the wrong thing, because I was looking for it, too. Well, I've done this a lot. I don't know how. No. I forgot. <laughs> I still always mess it up. Yeah, you know. Nope. You guys are nope. unable Can to I just pry this stone door to... open. <laughs> Can I just run into it? I mean, it's a you push all door. collectively are unable to pry this stone door open. <laughs> all right, he encourages the walk. Walk without fear. Tread yeah, without fear. Ooh, tread, tread water without fear. Yeah. I jump in the water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I need everyone to roll initiative. That's uh -huh. where I was going with that, but that works. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, don't the like water, give, and then give, jumps into the water. <laughs> and it's like give back, like whatever you take or something. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna like <laughs> fearlessly but steadily walk in, but you know a cannonball. Tread works. without fear, man. You can't have fear. It doesn't say dive without fear. I'm treading water. Say... Look at me. I feel like cannonballs count for treading without fear. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, if this were the guy okay, that was about recklessness, I, we would be yeah. in. He would just hand it to me. That's true. <laughs> Oh, perfect! I actually have a token for this. <laughs> um, now we're gonna fight a frog behemoth. <laughs> as you jump into the water, tentacles erupt from it as a giant frog behemoth, a huge 
Uh, beast. I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> I First set of the water. You it. And flails its tentacles at you. Oh Arden. my gosh. Uh, let me roll to hit. Your freaking token for I'm it is horrifying. The trash well, that's a dopest nuts token. Uh, it's so scary looking. Your shield is not out because you just I jumped figured. into the water. So that is huh. two hits. Oh, oh, that's I awesome. Can't use my maneuver until it's my turn. That can't do uh, 19 damage each. And each? Each. Yeah. And you are now grappled by this creature. Uh -oh. It's holding on to you. It hits you with one and then grabs you with the other. Um, let me throw it on the initiative tracker as well. Oh, wait, I already did that. Slice and dice operation. Mm. Slice the arms off. Dice the body. Let me sort the initiative tracker. <laughs> and we'll do some more combat. Alright, just want to say I'm not a fan of tentacles. Dirk, you're have first to again. Uh, he's getting four arrows. Jake, I don't like that token. <laughs> no? No. Frog with the tentacles? I'm not happy. And I guess I should uh, probably show it to the viewers. Uh, let's 18, see. 20. Look at the map over here. I stuck it down in the 23 corner. and 28. <laughs> so I feel Are like those all three hit. eyes coming up in one stock. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Jake, cool. yeah. Dark wants to know if 18 hits. Uh, all right, sorry, let me. Because then all the way. Uh, and 18 does indeed hit. Okay, then all your arrows hit. He's taking 48 plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10, 16, 36. 36. All right. Just arrow, 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 arrow. <laughs> Theo. I only there, have four more of these. Is there a way that I can, like, lean and hit it, but not be too much in the water? I really don't want to be in the water. It's pretty central in this water. Like, the tentacle that's holding my brother, I can't, like, reach out to try to slash. I have to be in the water. Uh, you could maybe hit the tentacles, but I will say that if you miss, you have a decent chance of hitting your brother. Oh, oh that's fine. Do it! Do it! <laughs> hmm, great axe or great sword? Great axe. <laughs> He's getting dragged in the water and Theo's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> decisions, decisions. A 13 does not hit, a 28 does hit. Except. Uh, and then that. 21 hits as well. Okay, thank you. Better, thank better. You. Thank you. Uh, Doom. all right. And then I'm gonna say, uh, don't worry. He might have the upper tentacle, but you've got the upper hand. Uh, and use some of my bonus action rally things to give <laughs> my brother some temporary HP. You get six temporary HP. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you have to add anything to that, or is it just that? Nope, it's just that. Great. It's pretty crappy. I would like to formally request that Pharaoh is in this combat, specifically because of his waterbending abilities. He's on the yeah, he's on the tracker. Okay. <laughs> Y'all can tell me what you want Pharaoh to do, and he will do it. He this one, this one, he is not eating popcorn and watching our bread and watching. Uh, he's like, Jesus. oh shit, tentacles. Jesus, he's all about moving that water. Yeah. All right. It. Do, 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 do. It's going to pull you closer, Aridin. Oh, oh don't no. eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me! Oh, don't say it has a beak. Whatever you do, don't say it has a beak. And it's going to try and bite you. Oh, no. Does it have a beak? It's going to try to... In fact... Nasty tape. <clears throat> it is going Pack. to swallow you whole. Oh! oh. Please take no. 22 piercing damage from the bite as you slide past its teeth. You guys ever heard of Jonah? <laughs> Uh, and, uh, do, 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 do. you are considered blinded and restrained, uh, though you have total cover against attacks and other effects outside the frog human. <laughs> Great. 
What's his stomach acid like? And at the start of each of its turns, you will take some acid damage. <laughs> or, yeah. I fucked up, guys. <laughs> it's unfucked up. <laughs> can I shout something? You can? Yes. I say, Koros, it's in water. Do you have anything that shoots a lightning? Oh, really? I do. I'm not really a shooting kind of dude. This is where Aridin dies. <laughs> Go for it, Arena! Alright, is it my turn? Uh, it's Koros' turn. No. But then it's her turn and she's gonna crush it. No, then it's Aridin's Lightning. turn, then it's Nell's turn, and then it's Arena's turn. Okay, but then she's gonna <laughs> crush it! I have a super hypothetical question. Yes. If you banish the frog hemoth with Aridin inside of it, Aridin goes with the frog hemoth. That wasn't my question, but it's close. <laughs> what if I, like, turn it into a pigeon? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, okay, Does let's... Does just let's... explode? Because... I, I think that the thing pigeon would explode because Aridin's inside of it, and then it would revert to frog hemoth form, and Aridin like, would... not In with... pieces! But, like, not yeah. necessarily with Aridin in it. But not No, might be Aridin might be sort of phased into it. You think that would be extremely He's gonna, It's going to be like the fly, except with a pigeon. I would like to not be Jeff Goldblum in this situation, please. Okay. I really like that creativity, though, Chorus. I, I won't do that. Great creativity. Attempt... You you are concerned uh, because you know that the nature of how when polymorph reverts, it's not like a necessarily a transformation. It is a magical, like, right, swap. Right. And that uh, Aridin might be intersecting with it when that happens. I mean, you know, Aridin's, Aridin's a strapping young lad. He'll be fine. <laughs> He'll no, either be monster. half pigeon or half frog hemoth. <laughs> I mean, you know. Nope. Depends which half. Like, I think his like... consciousness will win either way. The princess loves me for my personality. <laughs> uh, no. Danny? No. Okay. Need a wisdom save from frog 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 frog. Alright. Wisdom. Against a DC of... It fails. <laughs> nice. So I have to know the DC, it fails. <laughs> Oh, it's paralyzed. All right, it cannot move. And it, like, other conditions as well. Just it moment. is paralyzed. I think, I think peristalsis continues when one is paralyzed. Though. <laughs> That's, that doesn't actually seem right to me, but fair enough. Um, <laughs> it's yeah, not enough nervous right. <laughs> Anyway, attack rolls have advantage and crits it in melee. Ra oh yeah, any attack in far within five feet is a crit. So gotcha. go nuts on it. Aridin. You are inside of a frog hemoth. And I can't see anything, and I'm burning. Yes. I assume yes. I can't breathe as well. It's, uh, yeah. Hmm. Cool. It's a rough day for you. Not really not, oxygen Not your here. best moment. Just noxious gases. Cool. I mean, I just gotta go full Drax, right? Like, hopefully you squeeze yeah. here on the inside. <laughs> Sword. In a direction. <laughs> All right. Word. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. How about roll? Not a bad roll at all. Yeah, you hit mm. it. <laughs> I feel like it's Repeat. not very hard to hit it when you're inside. Hey! There's that crit. Repeat! <laughs> yeah. Oh, <Let me> yeah! <laughs> uh, it's. Uh, 36 a, damage. You have done quite a bit of damage to it, so it needs to take a constitution saving throw or have some indigestion. <laughs> I'm gonna say to not throw you Maybe up. Maybe burnt me out. <laughs> it's all paralyzed and just goes... <laughs> <laughs> what you do? It passes its con it save. feels so well. Must have that fighter I ate. So it just throws up in its mouth a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gurgles it back down. Working my way back. You like slide up, you're like, yes, yes, and then you slide right back down. No. You need to go to the back of the throat, or he wants a root beer float. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all so right. what's my acid damage that I take? At the beginning of its turn. Its turn, okay. I do believe. It's better for you. Yeah, each of the frog hemoths turns. Um, you know what? I want an action surge. All right. I really want out of here. <laughs> Wait, didn't you already action surge today? Yeah, but then I short rested. We get that back in a short rest? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. Ask the level 10 <laughs> fighter. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Mm. That's Definitely not going to cut I'm it. I'm missing it's got the a pretty thing tough. that is surrounding me. You hit it, you just don't pierce it. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. That. that pierces it. Nice. Dear God, get me out. 
All right, uh, no, it's gonna no. take another save for indigestion. <laughs> and this time it, it fails. <laughs> Aridin, you find yourself puked out and spinning in the water, underwater. Uh. Bile oh, all bath. surrounding you in the water. Oh, I'm gonna shout. Nell, get Aridin out of the water. <laughs> I want Arena to lightning it. It'd be so yeah, awesome. that would be bad. If... <laughs> uh, Nell looks at the water with some concern. Oh, oh no! I don't want to kill our thing. I like it. He did just get it. It's a brand new toy. I know. <laughs> Nell says, "Be really bad if it got electrocuted." Yeah, I do not operate optimally in water. Oh. Uh, but Nell like looks left and right, um, and grabs like a vine. Um, and throws it in to the water to try and give Aridin something to grab onto to pull him out. Um, this is good! You can grab onto that, even though it's not your turn. And Nell's gonna start pulling you, so you're just sort of towards the edge of the pool. Nell pulls you up, <laughs> so you... <gasps> Thank God. <laughs> get a big breath, and then starts pulling you towards the edge of the pool. So was him eating me and then throwing me up, uh, him giving back what he took? Is that what that was? <laughs> I didn't All even right. think we're to the puzzle yet. <laughs> Irina! <laughs> okay, so Aridin's still in the water, right? Yeah, sort of at the edge of the pool. But I'm not okay. actively dying anymore. Yeah, but I probably shouldn't electrocute no, no! No! <laughs> Well, I'm not sure Irina would realize that, right? Yeah. yeah Aridin doesn't look bloody. Oh, great, yeah, I'll just go ahead and electrocute the thing then. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Do, it. Do it! Do it! I can heal you. <laughs> yeah, she'll go ahead and do that. She'll All lightning right. hit it. You baby. All right. Oh boy. Damn. Uh, <laughs> and I it does more damage, right? Because it's through the water. Uh, yeah, I do imagine that. Um, you can't really dexterously dodge lightning when you're inside of water. That's right. Also, he's got disadvantage of being paralyzed, so... Yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna hit everyone in the water. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so it was just so tough. So, 32 damage. I don't, um, I don't, I don't, I don't get a chance, I guess. Hi, Libby! Rip Fashion Dragon. Yeah, no save, Hi, sorry. Uh, I lost Fashion Dragon. Fashion Dragon oh. is back. Fashion Dragon has returned. <laughs> And there was much I do indeed. indeed. Uh, so the Froghemoth seems particularly affected by this lightning. Uh, it seems to be uh, somewhat dazed and slow moving after this. Lightning was an excellent choice. <laughs> it's super effective. What would you guys like Pharaoh to do? Uh, can he use water movement to get me the fuck out? Let's see Bottom what's down. on his sheet. Kitty. Spells. If it's not, he can smickety smack with his spirit guardians. Let's see what spells he has available oh. to him. So cute. Control water is available. Uh, let me set my drop down. Oh my god, that's a really long spell description. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Flood. Part water, redirect flow. Those you can redirect the water instead of 100 feet cube. Uh, you can flood, you can part water, you can redirect flow. Even if you have to move over obstacles, walls, unlikely directions. He's gonna just have the water spit Aridin up onto the onto the land. Thanks, the water just like, spits him out. <laughs> There's no problem. Dirt. Um, can I get to a point where I am 10 feet away from this thing, but still not in the water? Uh, I don't think so. Is it thoroughly in the water? Yeah. Apparently there's tentacles were sticking up, so if his tentacles aren't sticking up, then I don't know. You can reach a tentacle, maybe, that's flailing out, but you definitely can't reach it. Well, then it's going to get my last four arrows. All right. Arrow. You could do four three. arrows on a turn. If I spend a key point, but I'm gonna do three. Alright. Did we lose Bobby? 
He appears to be frozen up, so yeah. we'll see. Uh, so like that's two mm. <laughs> 19s and a 13, which I uh, think I'll hit. The 13 does not. The 19s do. This frog hemoth is uh, lightning D. It's, it's very bloody. <laughs> lightning D. The but Zapped? like being Oh no I have advantage on attack rolls against him. You do. Oh wait, sorry, and because of the lightning, his AC, his AC penalty. No. Uh so they all hit. Lightning. Excellent. Lightning roll is... there weren't crits. He's arrowing the frog dude. Yeah, if he takes lightning damage, he's his speed is half, he gets a penalty to AC and deck saves, he can't use his reactions or his multi attack. It's, it's bad. He gets uh, 28. <clears throat> 28 damage from those three arrows. He has exactly 28 hit points. So with that... <laughs> How many eyes does he have? Uh, like a bajillion. He's actually got eye stalks. That oh, very clearly those things you thought were plants earlier. Well, then he's just going to get some, some arrows through those. Just pink, 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 pink. You finish him off. Handily. Boom. <laughs> Um, excellent work. Kidding. I hold up my one arrow and I say, I have one arrow left. You can have all my arrows. Or something. I need a map. Yeah, I'll take my arrows, I don't care. I How take arrows Arid's arrows, arrows and I give Arid a massage. <laughs> I think I have a couple more. Arid, you kind of smell like crap. No, I'm gonna go ahead and pat Arid on the back and heal him 30. <laughs> Pat, Pat, you feel better now. That almost makes up for when you zapped me. You did 25 for Dirk earlier and 30 now? Dang. Yeah, because I have a 55 total. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody how much, you like much, we how much damage did you do today. with the lightning bolt, though? You all 32. 32. So we're still net negative. <laughs> yeah, but, like to lay on but I want to keep five just in case someone gets poisoned or something, because I can heal it. with. I, was, I guess Aragon Aragon could, too. I'm guessing the door has not yet opened. The door has not yet opened. Huh. Can we cut some of the tentacles off this freaky thing and stick him on the statue? <laughs> <laughs> so are you seeing the frog statue in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. You can climb out. All right. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to ask Pharaoh, can you do that water thing again or no? You need uh, water stuff. It's a it was like a one very time. powerful spell, and I only have so many oh, of those. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was going to ask him to be like air bubble. Air. I don't um, think, there's probably not another frog he myth in the, oh, I shouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna hold my breath real good and use my glowing chalk so I can try to see underwater and see if there's something we should get underwater. So you're gonna swim down there and take a cool. look? Mm -hmm. I can That's give a piece cool. of glowing chalk to anybody else who wants to swim also. It's a glow stick. I think I'm good with no more water. You see, it's pretty murky, and there's not a lot to see. The main feature appears to be this frog statue in the center. Koros, as you go over with a chunk of tentacle that you have cut off, and slop it onto the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gross. It's, it's an offering. You notice, inside of the frog statue, a small stone key. Oh. I'm Meanwhile, not gonna stick I'm, I'm not gonna stick my hand in statues. I will mage hand the key out. <laughs> it's a good call. Oh. Um I'm supposed to leave something behind, right? Yeah, can you rep can now repeat the thing that it said on the doors? Uh, the thing that it said on the door was, Kubazan urges us to tread without fear and give back as much as we take. And we've got, like, a spare key lying around. Can we just use the key to open the door and then put it back? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> try to open the door. I have a feeling not putting the key back just summons the thing that kicked our ass, so... <laughs> I don't think it really matters. Um, I can make my way out of the water, and I'm like mucky now and disgusting. You, know, hey, you ain't got a patch on your brother, huh? That poor feather. I've got, I've got that acidic you know. tang. 
Oh, no, no. Yeah, Do you have it? Cook. Yeah. I, I was getting... He has the cook. I have it with me, but I probably took it off before I hopped in. Yeah, that would make sense. Because I'm not a monster. <laughs> oh, I didn't take anything off. Uh, you didn't really have the <laughs> opportunity. Uh, I'm going to ask Irina if she can carry it for me for a bit. Sure. Till I am not so disgusting. All right. No problem. You guys go up, yes. and that door opens just fine. Uh, do, 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 do. <clears throat> do we and use the key, or we just have the key? No, you use the key, and it opens oh. the stone door. All right, I'm going to put the key back with Mage Hand. Awesome. As you guys head into the shrine, steps descend to a ledge overlooking a pit of sharpened stakes. Why do they always descend? Why can't they ascend? Alcove on the far wall holds a pedestal with a stone cube resting on it. A relief carved into the back of the alcove shows a monstrous frog with tentacles fighting a crane. Wooden beams radiate from the walls at floor height with four-foot gaps between them. Carved frog heads extrude from the walls above the beams. So the frog and the crane god don't like each other. <clears throat> Did you say extrude? Extrude. Like protrude and exude as one extrude, word? Extrude is a word. Extrude is a word. Alright. Extrude. You know, like so I'm getting schooled right now. Never wooden heard. beams coming out of there. Yeah. Going down into the pit, and they have frog heads on the end. Got it. Mm-hmm. That's the pit. And the pit itself has spiky stakes. Mm. Gross, can't you make people, call? like, float? <laughs> 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 All right, cool. Frogs. Horos, you can levitate people. In a manner of speaking. I'm starting to think the Tread Without Fear thing wasn't about the water. Me too. Um, I think I should go down there. And Koros, if I fall on the stakes, you <laughs> should catch me. With this your can magic. work. This can work. All right. You can also just, you know, tie a rope around your waist and hold the rope. I feel like that would hurt. Good. <laughs> Got Indiana Jones right now. I will. I will ready an action to cast telekinesis if dirt falls towards a stake. <laughs> Good plan. All right. The pun hey, plus plan. Dirt, can you start jumping from wooden beam to wooden beam around the perimeter of the room? Yes. All right. Whip in hand. I need some dexterity acrobatics checks, which I'm sure you're Oh, I'm really out. good at those. <laughs> <laughs> How many would you like? Let me count the beams on this picture. Let's do five. One. <laughs> oh! oh. Cancel okay. each other out. Cancel each other out. <laughs> so let me tell you what happens when you, you leap onto the first one just fine. When you leap onto the second one, you notice the first one retracts into the wall. Like a Mario. Oh, man. You still make Ooh. it to the second one. I don't think you can fail any of these because they're DC 10. <laughs> 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 but I have plus nine. Which so. is demonstrated that the net one still passes. You are able to jump across them. You don't need to keep rolling. Literally Each impossible. one, as you jump off of it and onto the next one, retracts into the wall. You cannot go back the way you came. That's okay. Um, when you get to the pedestal in the shrine... Uh, you see that there is clearly a pedestal holding a, another one of these puzzle cubes on it. It's just resting atop it. <laughs> oh, we have to leave something. Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait! Theo says that <laughs> as Dirt grabs yeah. the puzzle cube. hand on it, and I'm like, that's true. Do you I, have a I bag of sand? I don't have anything. <laughs> Throw me something. Right. Uh, right. Oh, I have a book. That hand came back before Theo said we have to leave something. <laughs> that cube came off the pedestal. Okay. <laughs> At least it's not me. The <laughs> gate 
behind all of you, no, slam me. shut. There it is. Yep. <clears throat> Don't fall in the pit, guys. Don't fall in the pit. The carved frog heads on the walls open their mouths and belch forth poisonous gas. Yeah, I was just going to say, oh, can fine. I? Because this Sorry, happened guys. earlier. Can I, like, do this? <laughs> uh, you're going to hold your breath? Sure. I, even I can't do wet long. fabric of my clothing to creatures cover my nose and mouth. are affected even if they hold their breath or don't need to breathe. All right, great. Cool. Wow, or I don't need to breathe. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it just goes through skin. It's nice. So uh, I need Constitution saving throws from everyone except Dark. Great. Classic. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think you're fine, Irina. Yeah. Irina also is immune to poison. I'm looking it up right now to make sure. Koros, that is a high quality roll. I got a high quality roll. Which sucks because he's the one who can get me out of the pit. <laughs> uh, Koros, in the first six seconds after this, which is to say a round, after this uh, gas protrudes, you will take ten damage. Oh. This won't put, end well. Put the rock oh. back. You set it back, uh, the mouths shut, and the gas dissipates. Throw me something of equivalent size! Um, we do have... a, um... Well, I don't really want to give up the magic ewer that Auto Frozen I've got a big wet box box book. Or something. Wait, we... Have another one of these. Okay, we do have a mysterious frog liver jar. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. You have another one. Fill a bag with rocks till they weigh about the same. That works too. Okay. Can we just have man and press on it with equal weight? Until you leave. <laughs> yeah. well, we have the the Commodon. That could work. No. We have the Commodon one, and so yeah, we can see how heavy it is. Uh, half a pound. And then. Never mind. I think that I'm uh, poison. I can get. I just can't get diseases. I'm assuming they're different. They are indeed different. Yeah. Look at good to check. Um, I'm gonna hold the cube in one hand and hold Whoops, the jar sorry. with the mysterious frog liver in the other hand and see if they weigh the same. Hmm. Why uh, do we have a jar of frog liver? Sure. Yeah, jar of frog liver. Old lady's house weighs about half a pound. Irina, you're fine. Okay. So sorry. Do they not weigh the same? Sure. They weigh about the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, frog liver will work. Here we go. I'm gonna throw it down. Throw a glass jar at him. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right. I, I need a it too. No, I, I strength will. check from Theo. You're, you're you're holding your reaction for telekinesis. Why do I have a strength check? To throw it. It's like an underhand baby toss. And Dirk, I want a dex check to catch it. <laughs> you guys are gonna it's slaughter me. with frog liver. Why? <laughs> a strength save. Check. Okay. We're good. <laughs> We're drift compatible. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. No Catch it. I do the Indiana Jones. It sounds like a dance move. Um. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, on the ground and it's, your it's whipping things and then putting on a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and then you swap the items after doing the Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah, they, they swap. No frog mouths open. Just to be a jerk. I want to try to acrobatics and, like, wall jump my way out of here to see if I can. You want to parkour out of the It is many pit. feet between the walls. But he wants to hardcore impossible, parkour. I'll just It's not levitate. impossible. Um, it's, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? It's, like, 30 feet across. I probably can't do that. By, like, 20 feet. You could probably do... You're a level 10 monk. You might be you able to... You could do a running monk? jump just, like, straight out. Oh. Don't monks have a thing that they can, like, double the jump? It'd be, like, DC 25, I think? Let's give it a shot. I shout, Koros, I'm gonna try something cool! <laughs> cool, I'm gonna let you... is not <laughs> amused. <laughs> you and I just, just missed the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Telekinesis, <laughs> you come flying up in the air. 
that. Hope I don't need that spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna take a nap after this anyway. Uh, no, I, get the, I get that back when I take a nap. So. You can you give me the cube? What are we calling this one? The frog behemoth cube. Frog behemoth. Frog behemoth. Frog behemoth. Frog so the, this cube, the name is Kubazan. It's Kubazan's cube. I can show you a picture. Kubazan. Of Kubazan's cube. Wait, I can't see the picture. It has frogs on it. Kubazan. Wait, wait. Kubazan's cube. It. No, wait. Is that one? No, of course oh, it is. It's kind of so we got Shambali and Kubazan. <laughs> Shigambi. Shigambi. And Kubazan. Indeed. Cool. Got it. They are in my inventory. Cool. Right. It is, uh, as you guys exit the shrine, um, it is getting a bit late. The sun is starting to set. I would like to and clean up. I'm disgusting. <laughs> yes, I say we make camp inside the shrine. It seems defensible. Oh, only I, one I'm in. We have a. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> that, Camping. That tower. Like I've been glamping. Living in every night for the last <laughs> like seven Listen, weeks. Listen, it's dusty. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I, can I find a suitable space to pop it up? Yeah, if you guys just go, uh, this shrine is a little bit further from most of the buildings of the city, so you can just travel a little north of it, and there's an open clearing. Great. Boop. Stop Pop it in. up. Uh, and then I would like to have Pharaoh, who still has some remaining spell slots and mm -hmm. doesn't need them now, uh, to create water so I can have clean water in which to bathe myself, because I'm sure. disgusting. <laughs> Y'all have... have clean water from the rain catchers, but yeah, you can do that. Okay. Can he, can, gonna... does Pharaoh know how to make I food? I want to shower, too. Mm. Like... Mm. No, we have no. ra rations. Theo made this stew last time, and it was pretty good. He's not a vanilla mage. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Craft bread. She's not used to very Craft good food bread. in Barovia. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Irene is not used to anything good. <laughs> I still think it's quite a compliment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, my priority is bathing, but I've got some rations, and I can give Dirk a ration. Got shit. All right. So y'all uh, settle down. Nell plays some more fantastic pipe music. Which I am eerily disturbed by. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. This particular tune is a bit eerie. Is it really <clears throat> You know any happy songs? <laughs> um, uh, yes. This is a happy song. <laughs> yeah, Billboard Top 100. Would you prefer Great something the 80s. more lively? Yes. Yes. Turn. I can accommodate. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Jake, perform on your nose. <laughs> a jaunty little jig. <laughs> yeah. Something you would um. Yeah. All right. No more mysterious frog liver jar. Taking it out of my inventory. Koros. Oh darn. That's my name. Uh, as you settle down for the evening, um, and you do, you know, that thing where you rest and get your spells back. I've heard of it. You're not feeling them coming back. Regrettable. Uh, -oh. uh That's bad. <laughs> but you do still feel your connection with class feature. And you Where is class feature? That class feature may have arrived back at the cliffs of Mbala. Well, I would like to check out what class feature can see. Class feature can see. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've got great comments going on. Uh, that one says, <laughs> Play Earth Angel now. <laughs> uh, you see the ruins of the village of Mbala as you left. Sure. Them. Yeah. And the creepy ass hut. The unpleasant lady. The unpleasant lady's not there. Right, no, I said with the unpleasant lady. Yes, that hut. Wait. The hut. Wait. The Which hut? I... The hut that you guys killed Grandmother Crow at. Not the hut Kill. that's. Wait, okay. Yeah, apparently we didn't the kill The pulsating heart rock thing? No. Different thing. Different thing. Okay. Different scary old person. Got it. <laughs> 
Um, Old people aren't scary. They're your friends. Just I, w I want class feature to go like go into the hut. Yeah, the hut is filled with gross hag stuff. Sure. Yeah. I have nude. You know, whatever. Of Can we grab another jar of liver? Yeah. Huh. yeah. No, I don't have but no grandmother crow. She's not here. She is clearly not there. Okay. And no indication of any... Like, the world egg's not just on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> no. That would okay. be mighty convenient. Wouldn't it? Mm. Alright. Um, I'll have him make a couple passes around the town, see if he sees anything. And if there's nothing there, then there's nothing there. Like, There is nothing there. Alright, I'll have him start flying back. I realize it's several days' flight. Um, yeah. No more to be done there. Alright. Mm -hmm. Class feature. So you typically get. Uh, you only get your highest spell slot. How many spells per day do you typically have? Two. Uh, three. three plus that. Plus I can. Yeah. Um. You're only gonna have two tomorrow. Okay. Uh -oh. You you feel your connection to your patron slipping. Interesting. Just sounds like our warlock's soon gonna become a um, bag of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm still charming and clever, though. Yeah, you don't have any teeth. You're not charming. I have my teeth back. Yeah, I don't believe it. <laughs> she thinks it's all <laughs> They're illusory teeth. <laughs> all right. Uh, do, 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 do. Dental image. <laughs> <laughs> Theo, when you go to sleep, you will wake in a familiar place. In your <laughs> it smells like delicious stew. Lincoln, take it away. You awaken as if you had dozed off at the kitchen table like you did when you were just a little boy and Grandma Stormbringer was telling, you know, one of her long-winded stories that don't make any sense. The best. Uh, except you are not at home, and that is not your good granny across the table. It is Grandmother Crow, and she is stitching something with her long arthritic fingers and you you haven't been listening but she says and anyway i went through all that trouble and baphomet didn't even come to my party he still <laughs> won't after my my sending spells very rude of him yeah, stitch, 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 stitch. i'm like bleary eyed and i'm like waking up and i'm like that is barbaric <laughs> well he is baphomet but he's classic baphomet um, I'm like looking at what she's stitching and I'm like thinking I'm like it's made of skin and she's stitching you skin look at it, it, it looks like it's black and made of feathers and your oh. hand goes to your shoulder and your feather cloak is gone and she's what you, she what? and she said and she holds it up and she says don't you like it and where your feather cloak had been kind of ratty and starting to fall apart because you've taken them on so many adventures, she holds up to you this beautiful, perfect cloak. Looks like it's new, except instead of those white feathers, they're black, jet black and but, shiny. But gossamer, yes. And each of them has a gold tip. As Ooh. if it was dunked in gold. I do want that. <laughs> and she's like, would you like to try it on? I hope I got the size right. And I'm like, can't hurt to try it on. <laughs> the only one here. Might Puts as well. it on your shoulders, and you feel the clasps of their own sort of volition oh. grab into your shoulder and kind of <laughs> dig in. Uh, 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 it's not, not, tight. not enough to hurt you, but they're holding on. Uh, but the I think itself is holding on to yeah, you. I feel it. And I'm the like, clasps mm. look like little raven claws. <laughs> Put it on with smart. This you look so cool. absolutely terrifying. Oh. Perfect. Do you have a mirror? God, no. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> if I want to look at this in the morning, uh, uh, no. But who wouldn't? It's so radiant. Um, and then she sits down and she picks up her tea and she says, Anyway, now that that's over, your warlock. He's having some trouble, isn't he? Uh, and I'm like, meanwhile, I'm like trying to like pick up the little claws, and I'm sure it's doing nothing. And I'm like, uh, they're really yeah, on there. Yeah, he's uh, he's uh, he's he's having some issues. 
it seems like. He was trying to blast things today, and it was like, instead of blast, it was more like, you know? <laughs> Sounds like he isn't keeping up his half of the bargain. What they say, not all guys can keep it up, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Grandmother Crow. Hey, do you have like a pry bar? I need to get this off. <laughs> she smacks your hand away from it and says, stop back. <laughs> Sorry. It's beautiful. I just think it needs to be let out a little more. My shoulders are really wide. Um, okay. And she says, he wants to know about the world egg, doesn't he? Does Lily know about the world egg? Yes. I do. Okay. The, so, oracle, bad memory. the oracle at Oralunga told you about right. the world egg. Right, right, right. I just don't remember a few. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, I've heard of the world egg. You also know that when you first you? met Grandmother Crow, she audibly offered to Koros to tell him about the world egg, and that was the first that you had heard of it. And and sh he said no, right? Yeah, he, he said no. He was basically like, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm busy killing the soulmonger, if I recall. Uh, so I'll be he, like... Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's, you know, mildly interested in it. More like a scholastic interest. She looks at that clock on the wall, and it's it's very close to midnight again. And she says, well, we've got a little time. I can tell you the first part of the story. Okay. Uh, she says, I am older than the plains. I walked the formless expanse before they had shape, before time, before any of that. And it was wonderful, filled with nothing but chaos. But out of chaos, eventually came Stu. Later. <laughs> Oops, getting, getting but ahead before ahead. Stu pats your head uh, with her creepy fingers. <laughs> I don't feel uh, good. I want to go uh, home. <laughs> there was the serpent, the world serpent. Great being, bigger than these tiny gods they worship now, who gave his own blood to give the plains form. The world egg is the last drop of that blood. Okay. Tick. Why did, why did it have to Tick. be Talk. snake and also Tick. blood? Tuck. Next time, dearie. Okay. Ding! Kukum, kukum, and then the then you are ripped from this place. Shit. And I'm back in the real world. Yes. Uh, okay. Wake up, cold sweat, freaking out. Uh, I'm I'm like touching my shoulders. Is anything there? Yes. Did you have it on, or did Arena have it? You my it to my cloak. Work. I did give it to her until I cleaned up, but I did bathe it, up. so I have it again. It yeah. is. It is not on you currently, but when you turn to the side, next to your bed where you keep it, it is indeed black with gold-tipped feathers. I, like, reach a hand out to it, and then, like, pull it back, and I'm, like, freaking out. And I'm, like, looking around, is anybody else awake? Uh, probably. Aaron You're not sharp. asleep? Sure. Sharpening your sword. Yeah. I'm like freaking out. I'm like, Erdan! I'm like, my voice cracks and I'm like, losing my shit, man. What? You couldn't have lost your guild letter again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, and I'm like, wordless, and I'm just like, what is pointing that? at it. it. It's mine. It's my cloak. But she, she made it different. Who made it different? Grandmother Crow. She made it black? But it looks really cool. <laughs> It does. It does. It's but really don't cool. touch it because the little snappies, they, they grab you and then you can't get out. <laughs> but it if does you, look really cool. Wait, but if they grab you and you can't get out, how do you know that? Because if you had done that, it would be stuck on you, right? It happened in my dream. Wake up, Coros. Wake him up. Well, I doubt that that'll happen in real life. I go right over to Coros and I'm just like, wake up, wake up. <laughs> what? what? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm awake. Grab the crow. Old egg. Blood. Serpent. Serpent. Blood. 
He's got kind of like about... I don't know what's I happening. understood the first two of those I think things. He got his feather cloak dirty and he's freaking out. <laughs> what happened to your feather cloak? She changed it. Why do you keep giving her shit? I didn't! She had it already! She was sewing it! She told I me can't about help you with that. She told me about the world egg. Okay, I'm listening. She said long time ago. So long ago it was before Stu that there was a serpent. And that serpent put blood everywhere and now there's stuff. And the last of the blood is the world egg. Okay. And I asked her why it had to be a snake and why it had to be blood, and then she said bye. It was very rude. Why okay. do you guys hang um, out with these creatures? Also, <laughs> watch out for a guy named Bartholomus or whatever. Apparently he's a really bad gift giver and doesn't return sending spells, so don't talk to him. Okay. I just, you know what? You know what? Theo, you, I'm sure you did your best with your blacksmith capacity um if you see there was the creepy, a force there. if you see the creepy elder goddess again ask her where the world egg is uh, just to, i don't want to see her tell. again can't you no. call her <laughs> actually maybe this is like when nobody wants to order a pizza <laughs> <laughs> and i have to call it's like a little bit of a different thing than that um okay. Pharaoh. Does Pharaoh asleep. have anything that can? He's asleep. Oh yeah. Kick him awake. Let's just wake the whole. Okay, I, I kick him. Torches up. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the crow. World egg. Cloak. Does... Change. No, 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 no. Nope. Bread. Stop. Bread. Bread. <sighs> Bread. Right. Yeah. Sophros. Words. Bread. Eyes. Sorry, we're just naming things. <laughs> yeah. Did great. Pharaoh, do you have a spell that can boost my intelligence saving throws? If you're around me, your uh, saves go up by That's my crit. That's true. That's a good point. I need you to sit near me while I do something weird. All right. <laughs> Does bless? Let me click on bless just to read it. Yes. One d4 to attack roll or saving throw. Yep. So you can get a okay. d4 on a saving throw. What else has he got? Bless and Irina's thing. Uh, bless yep. is concentration. I think he has one more thing that uh, that aid. Let me see what aid does. I'm really glad that Dirk. Because Guidance all he does is fight. He's right. allowed to just yeah. sleep through all of this. <laughs> uh, I don't see guidance on this list. It's a D4 to ability check. That's bless, yeah. Um, no, that's to... Guidance and bless are different. Oh, sorry. Bless, bless is attack is... roll or saving throw. Guidance gotcha. is ability check. Got it, got it, got it. Um, I thought he had one more that did something like that. <laughs> but uh, that'll have to be good enough. Okay, so okay. D4 plus arena's thing. Yeah. yeah, so plus four for me. Oh, the huddle over where Arena right. is sleeping. <laughs> Something like that. All right, I'm going to cast contact other plane. Damn. Oh. No. Uh, Here we go. Head first. You can do this. So I need to make a DC 15 intelligence save. That so. is high, sir. Yep. And then you become insane or if you fail. Or else you become insane. Yes. Woo. All right. Okay. So I have succeeded. So I can ask the entity, which, um, my patron, up to five questions. All right. And you know what? I think that's an excellent cliffhanger to leave you all on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's legit. Uh, mm. We will start next session with your five questions for Grandmother Crow. Mm. Uh, all right. Thank you, viewers, for watching. Uh, Please do uh, message the page, comment to the video, let us know your feedback, uh, what you liked, what you didn't like, uh, so that we can uh, do more of what you like and less of what you don't like. Uh, my players, please do message me tonight with your rose, thorn, bud, that is the thing you liked, the thing you didn't like, the thing you're looking forward to. Um, and with that, we will see you all next time. Bye-bye now. See ya. Bye.